Good morning students. How are you? My name is Haramrit Bevli and I am your storyteller. But wait, I'm not going to tell you the title of the story. Just like that, you will have to guess it. And I have this friend here who stays with me and is saying that he wants to help you. Do you want to meet him? Okay, here we go. Tortoise, little, little, tortoise, tortoise, little, little, tortoise, tortoise, little, little, tortoise. Hey, we have given you a tongue twister as a hint. Okay, let me help you with this one. The title of our story today is The Hare and the Tortoise. Long, long ago, in deep, deep forest, there lived a hare. He used to boast to all the animals in the forest and say, Ha ha ha! I am the fastest creature and none of you can ever beat me. All the other animals used to just look at him, stare and say nothing. And you know why? Because they knew that the hare are the fastest creatures. Until one day, there came along a tortoise who was brave, courageous and very smart. He wanted to teach a lesson to this hare. And he crawled, crawled and crawled and he reached the hare and said, Hare, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Hare looked around and he saw no one standing close by. So he said, Who is it? Who is it? Or is it that somebody is trying to play a prank? So this tortoise looked at him and said, No, 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 it's not a prank. It's not a trick. It's me. And he waved at the hare. The hare looked at him and said, Why have you come to me today? The tortoise said, I want to race you and whosoever reaches the finish line first shall be the winner and the fastest creature. The hare started laughing. <laughs> he couldn't believe his ears. He asked the tortoise, Are you certain of what you say? So the tortoise said, Yes, yes, I'm quite certain. And the hare accepted the challenge. So the next day, both of them met at a point where they decided to start their race. And with them, there came along other animals of the forest to witness the race. There was this monkey who called out for the race to start and said, Get set. Go. And see what happened. The hare started running. While he was running, he looked back at the tortoise and started laughing and saying, Ha ha, is that all? Is that your speed? You silly little fellow, you will not be able to make it. And he left. He ran and he ran and he ran. But you know what? This hare was a lazy fellow too. He thought of resting. He looked around for a tree, a shady tree, and he found one. And that's where he went and thought of resting. Just before he was, go was to go off to sleep, he thought to himself, I am the fastest and I think that I'll win even if I rest here. This silly little fellow must still be at the start line only. So I'll take a nap, I'll rest and then I'll start running again. And he slept off. When While he was sleeping, this tortoise was crawling, 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 and he reached where the hare was sleeping. And he passed him. You know, he passed him quietly. The hare got up and after some time, and looked around to see where the tortoise had reached. And he didn't see tortoise anywhere. So he thought the tortoise must still be behind. And he started running. The Hare started running, thinking that he is now going to be winning the race. And see what happened. As he was about to reach the finish line, he saw the tortoise reach there already. And all the other animals in the forest were rejoicing. And they were clapping. And they were cheering. And they were saying, hip hip hooray for our tortoise friend. Tortoise, congratulations. And there was this lion who was roaring and saying, Congratulations, tortoise, you've done us proud. And this hare felt very silly. He felt very bad. He was gobsmacked. Gobsmacked means he was surprised. And he gasped and asked the tortoise, Tortoise, tell me, how did you reach here? Tortoise said, Oh, I 
kept crawling, 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 and I didn't stop. I did not rest the way you did, and that's how I reached the finish line before you and won. The hare learned a lesson, and he realized what he had done was not right. He told the tortoise that he is never ever going to boast. He said sorry to all the other animals and congratulated the tortoise. With this children, we come to the end of the story. I hope you loved listening to the story as much as I loved putting it up for you. There are a few activities which I have put in here after the storytelling session which you could do with your papa and mama and enjoy your day. Bye-bye until we meet next.